Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Dream Big My Friend podcast. This is your host, Francis Vitakovic, and today I'm going to be sharing with you three really quick and simple ways to minimize the amount of stress that you are experiencing in your life. So if you're someone who constantly feels stressed, then this is the episode for you to listen to. So let me start by asking you a simple question, like how do you react when your plans fall through? Do you just roll with the punches? Do you feel like tearing your hair out or hiding in a corner, like wishing you could run away? Does stress and anxiety keep you from enjoying your life? And if so, I've got some things to share with you in today's episode, and they are probably things that you have not considered taking advantage of because they're so simple. Now, before I even dive in and and like share these little tips with you, I want you to know, like we talk about it often on this podcast, that all the feelings that we experience in our life stem from the thoughts we are thinking. Like we're going to be thinking a thought and then it's going to make us feel a particular way. So just to give you a few examples, if you feel like someone really wronged you or betrayed you, you might feel really hurt or really angry. They're natural emotions that would stem from thoughts like that. If you think, my gosh, my kids should be in bed by now, like I've told them a million, a million and one times, it's time to go to bed, and they're still running amok in the house, you might feel really frustrated, okay? That thought that they should be doing something different is going to lead to your feelings of frustration, and the same is true for stress. When you're thinking thoughts like, I have way too much on my plate, that is just really natural to feel stressed as a result of that thought. So here's where it gets really interesting. You can be really great at managing your mind, at pinpointing the specific thoughts that are making you feel whatever way you are feeling right now. And even still, you might find yourself defaulting to those thoughts, like the thoughts that lead to negative feelings in you, purely because the conditions in your life, which I'm going to go into more when I talk about the three tips I'm going to share with you in this episode. But these conditions like make it so much easier for you to reach for those thoughts that lead to your feelings of stress. So let me just start by sharing with you the first tip. So my first tip is to sleep more. It is super common for people nowadays to exist on like less than six hours of sleep a night. I know I used to do it. And even worse, I feel like some of us wear it as a badge of honor. Just a side note, no, it's not. And like I said, I did this myself for years and trust me, like it's not healthy and it definitely like makes you predisposed to feeling more feelings of stress. Take a moment now to think about like, is there a connection for you with how much stress you feel and how much sleep you are getting? Now, I know that me personally, like if I have been woken up throughout the night or if I've had like, yeah, really broken sleep or just a short amount of sleep, that that next day, not that it's going to be a complete write-off, but I know that I'm not going to be able to function at my best. There's no way. It's almost like one of what I call the deep breath days. I'm going to have to take lots of deep breaths and just do my best to show up in the best way that I can, knowing that I'm probably going to be a little bit grumpy and irritable. And yeah, things are going to stress me out more because it's harder for me to function at my very best and to think like really high quality thoughts when my tank is literally empty. And there's a good reason why experts recommend, you know, eight hours of sleep a night, not just to rest our bodies, but to rejuvenate our minds. Okay. And our thoughts are coming from a really calm and well-rested mind. So I want to remind you like sleeping is not just time for your bodies to have a rest, it's time for your bodies to heal and to make sure that your mind gets the break that it needs. So So just make sure that you are prioritizing sleep in your schedule, especially if you've noticed that your stress levels have started to go up higher. Go to bed early. I know it sounds super simple, but trust me, it works. This is a must if you want to reduce the stress in your life. Like sleep makes everything feel just a little bit better. And life honestly feels 10 times worse for me when I am sleep deprived and really grumpy. And so start here. Okay, this is the first place to start. Go to bed early, make sure that you're getting your eight hours of sleep a day. Now, the next tip that I want to share with you, just to minimize stress, a tip that not everyone thinks about is turn it off, like turn off and minimize the outside noise. Once you're getting the sleep that you need every night, it's time to turn to your devices. And we've got to be honest with each other. How much time are you really spending on your device? I know that it might feel like a really safe escape. It's just, let me just get over my phone for a little bit. It's going to be fun. But the convenience that it's added to your life, like in terms of staying connected to everyone, doing maybe work, has actually become almost like a double-edged sword. We depend on our cell phones so much that it's almost like we can't live without them. Like, be honest, like how long do you think you could go without touching your phone? I don't even know the answer to that question. Be really curious to test it out. How long could you go? 
Like what would happen if you went out tonight and you didn't take it with you? Like what feelings would that arise in you? We waste so much of our precious time falling down this rabbit hole of social media at the expense of getting important stuff done. And then we wonder why we're so stressed. And guess what the answer is? Like guess what's contributing to this stress? It's the fact that our minds are constantly filled, like filled to the brim with news and social media and all this email, everything to attend to. There's no quiet inside our head. Like there's no chance for our minds just to settle down and do what needs to be done. Okay, it's constantly being distracted. So it's time to consider switching off your phone. This is my tip to you. Hey, my friend, I just wanted to pop in and say that if you ever listen to this podcast and think, oh my gosh, like I really wish that I could dig even deeper with this work, I have the best news for you. I now have two affordable signature courses that honestly have the power to transform your life in the most amazing way. The first course is Your Invisible Crown, which is an in-depth program that will teach you exactly how to show up as the best version of yourself every single day, even when life's obstacles pop up. And the second course is Your Magic Wand which is a 12-week self-coaching program where I'm going to share with you the exact tools and the exact process that I've used while coaching private clients over the last 20 years. This is the closest thing to having a real-life coach by your side without the larger price tag. These courses are seriously unlike any other that you've ever invested in in the past. So starting today, you can freely ditch all the mind drama and grab the tools that you need to not just dream bigger, but to live life with more clarity and intentions. And you can find a link to these two courses inside the podcast description. And I sincerely look forward to connecting with you on a deeper level. I recommend seeing if you can go without it for like hours, like definitely put your phone away at least 30 to 60 minutes before you go to bed. It's also important that you pay attention to your usage throughout the day. Like on a day that you're feeling really, really stressed, how often did you turn to your phone? How often were you on your phone wasting valuable time that could have been spent actually dealing with whatever was causing you stress? So is it possible that you could set some time constraints here? Have you set any time constraints here as yet? I know you might feel as if the phone is making you feel better when you're stressed, but all you're doing is avoiding the stress, okay? And you're going to put your phone down and you're going to come back to reality and the stress will not have gone away because you didn't do anything to improve that situation. All you did was avoid it, which is probably going to get you the same result as a teenager that has an essay to be done and is going off to watch Netflix. That essay is still there, like waiting to be done. So my tip to you, and it's so simple, put down your phone, put down your devices, Focus instead on what you can do to actually remedy the situation or to minimize the amount of stress in your life. And I promise you, like the answer is rarely going to be found on Instagram, on Facebook. Might be like connecting with your friends, asking for feedback. Maybe it's acknowledging the situation, brainstorming ideas to deal with it. But escaping is never the answer. It's never a long-term solution. And I just want you to understand this connection that you might feel as if the phone is making you feel better, but there's a good chance it's actually adding to the stress that you were experiencing in life. And now for my third, a very simple tip, okay? Very simple tip to minimize the stress in your life is to take a mini break. Now, before you jump off and say, oh my gosh, that would be so nice to be able to go on a break, but Francis, I cannot do that. I cannot go away on a holiday right now. I want you to hear me out. For me, A holiday is synonymous with just having a break. It's when you give yourself permission to press pause on all the crazy stuff in your life. And did you know that you have this option available to you? You can literally just right now decide to press pause. Like I once took a holiday where I spent all weekend at home reading books with zero, like I canceled all my family commitments and I let everyone just do their own thing. And for me, that felt like a well-deserved getaway that definitely reduced the amount of stress that I was experiencing. So if you can't travel for your break, that's fine. Stay at home, stay in your PJs all day, or maybe you want to go out for a walk. Maybe you want to go and visit a lake or the beach or go for a walk in a forest or an afternoon in nature. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter if you choose to stay home. As long as you've like made that decision that you are going to press pause on all the noise and not think about your bills, your work and whatever tension, whatever is causing you stress right now. Now, I want to point out that when I say here, take a break from thinking about what's causing you stress, this is completely different from buffering or escaping into social media where you're faced with more noise than ever, like more things to bombard your mind with. We want to give your mind a break. It is super important for you to take time out for yourself because your mental and physical health are important. You cannot give to others if your tank is totally empty. And if you've ever tried to like run on an empty tank, you know how much easy it is to get stressed or feel stressed. So make sure that you get the sleep that you need that was my first tip limit your time on your devices that was my second tip and schedule regular breaks into your diary 
okay? Ideally before you desperately need it. This is seriously the quickest and simplest three tips that I can share you to minimize the amount of stress in your life. And I do really encourage you to use these and utilize them before your stress levels go through the roof. Even though your thoughts rather than your circumstances are ultimately responsible for your feelings of stress, it is so much easier to think more clearly and rationally when you are well rested and when you've had a break and you've eliminated all that extra noise from your life. And that's it, my friends, for my simple three tips to share with you to minimize the amount of stress in your life. As always, you know, I love and appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being with me here. And until next time, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friend.